Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm Gigi Giornetta. It's July 30th, 2013, Tuesday, and let's take a look at our top stories. Tonight, robots to replace farmers within a decade? Then, Chris Christie exploits 9-11 to knock out the competition in the future election. And Obamacare, good enough for the public, but not for the people who passed it. All this and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. Starting out with farm robots to make ag workers obsolete within a decade. In true humanist form, in the latter part of the 20th century, automation, the introduction of machines and robots, designed to make mass production more effective began taking over for human workers in American factories. With automation came efficiency. But that efficiency cost the country as well in terms of good paying jobs. Not surprising since biblically God said that man would toil over the earth and not the robot. Moving on to Globalist. Globalist agitprop Hillary Clinton, the mini-series. Aren't we looking forward to that? In order to get Americans ready for President Hillary Clinton, NBC, the death merchant General Electric's former premier Mockingbird Media asset, now run by transnational Comcast, will produce a television miniseries featuring the erstwhile First Lady and Secretary of State. According to NBC, the four-hour propaganda event will recount Clinton's life as a wife, mother, politician, and cabinet member from 1988 to the present. It'll be interesting to hear how they sugarcoat all the skeletons in the billary closet. And even fast forward to now, Benghazi, and this little clip from 2009, the Margaret Sanger Award. I admire Margaret Sanger enormously. Her courage, her tenacity, her vision. I am really in awe of her. So she's in awe of Margaret Sanger. Hmm. She supports eugenics. Think about that for President Hillary Clinton. And more political propaganda. Chris Christie exploits 9-11 in order to attack Rand Paul. Yeah, he, Rand Paul is confronted by Chris Christie after the New Jersey governor exploited 9-11 and the endless war on terror as an excuse to continue fleecing the American people and stripping them of their constitutional rights. Let's see how Chris Christie feels about people who care about their personal freedom. This strain of libertarianism that's going through both parties right now and, and making big headlines, I think is a very dangerous thought. Um, that I think what's dangerous in our country is to forget that we have a Bill of Rights, to forget about privacy, to give up on all of our liberty to say, oh, we're going to catch terrorism, but you have to live in a police state. Speaking of constitutional rights, Oh, the irony. IRS agents want out of Obamacare. The IRS plays a critical role in Obamacare. It's their job to force you and me to comply with all of the new rules and regulations set forth in the ironically named Affordable Care Act. Well now, these gatekeeping goons are trying to exempt themselves from requiring Obamacare. The National Treasury Employees Union is urging members to write their congressional representatives with a letter that states, I am very concerned about legislation that has been introduced by Congressman Dave Camp to push federal employees out of the Federal Employees Health Benefits Program and into the insurance exchanges established under the Affordable Care Act. Like most other federal workers, the IRS gets health insurance coverage through the Federal Employees Health Benefits Program, which also covers members of Congress. But Republican Dave Camp introduced a bill in response to reports of congressional negotiations exempting lawmakers and their staff from Obamacare. A spokeswoman for Camp said, Camp has long believed every American ought to be exempt from the law, which is why he supports full repeal. If the Obamacare exchanges are good enough for the hardworking Americans and small businesses the law claims to help, then they should be good enough for the president, vice president, Congress, and federal employees. Ah, but that is just it. Obamacare isn't good enough for any of us. That's why the president, the vice president, the members of their staff, and anyone else whose job it is to be familiar with every detail of the law are already trying to weasel their way out of it. For the InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Leanne McAdoo. So the IRS wants out of Obamacare. 
And remember when Nancy Pelosi said that they had to pass the Affordable Health Care Act to see what was in it? Well, now we know what's in it. And that includes that the staffers and the administration have to get Obamacare, and they're not real happy about it. And to more overreaching governments, we go to Moscow, where they have decided to put a device in their subways so that they can collect data from passengers. The head of police for Moscow subway system has said that stations will soon be equipped with devices that can read the data on mobile telephones of passengers. He said the devices have a range of about five meters and can read the SIM card. Sounds like Moscow is taking lessons from the NSA, and I wouldn't be surprised if the New York City subways will have the same machinery put in. And Illinois moves to confiscate firearms. Last week, the Chicago Times reported that the Cook County Sheriff's Office has formed a special task force assigned to seeking out Cook County suburb residents whose firearm owners' identification cards have expired. In February, the team confiscated 160 FOID cards and more than 160 guns from citizens whose cards have been revoked due to any number of circumstances, including newly discovered mental illnesses, felonies, and protection orders. Sheriff Dart has influenced the Illinois General Assembly to include language in a new FOID law that gives sheriffs and local police the power to obtain warrants and invade the homes of expired permit holders. Well, they just need more reasons to come busting into your house. And if you're in Detroit, it can get kind of scary because the cops there are now impersonating thieves. That's right. There's two men that were sergeants in the Detroit Police Department. One of them was an actual 20-year veteran of the Detroit Police Department, and the other with the same rank in St. Clair Shores. It allegedly wore their badges around their necks and drew the department-issued pistols when they robbed two men at an east side gas station on July 21st, according to the police. One of the victims was assaulted. I'm Jakari Jackson with an InfoWars news alert. Two Detroit police officers have been accused of roadside robbery and assault. The citizens were investigated and searched by both sergeants. It is alleged that an undisclosed amount of U.S. currency was taken from one of the citizens. Fortunately for those victims, there is a good citizen who is able to photograph the event. But what if you yourself are the only witness to police corruption? Donald Andrews Jr. operates a so-called smoke shop on Mohawk Avenue in Scotia. It sells incense and other smoking paraphernalia, legal stuff. Scotia and Schenectady County police became suspicious and targeted Andrews' shop, sending an undercover informant in twice. Donald turns, he comes in, places the crack on the counter. Bear in mind, it's informants like that who are being used in the city of Chicago and other areas to snitch on private gun owners. And if you'd like to learn more on how to watch The Watchmen, go to InfoWarsShop.com and pick up Breakthrough. Investigative journalist James O'Keefe's account on how to expose fraud. I'm Jakari Jackson, and this has been an InfoWars News Alert. So we've got robbers playing cops, cops playing robbers, and citizens in the kitchen throwing pizza. Recently, people were arrested for throwing pizza. Separate attacks left victims battered and splattered with sauce. In separate incidents, two men allegedly assaulted their girlfriends with pizza. North Carolina cops arrested Cody Sebastian Parsons, 25, after responding to a domestic disturbance call at the home he shares with Sarah McKinney, his 19-year-old girlfriend. Parsons became angry after slipping on a wet floor and he cursed at McKinney. Parsons allegedly pelted her with pizza. Parsons was charged with assault on a female and booked into the Wilkes County Jail on the misdemeanor count. And in a separate incident, a South Carolina man was collared last Wednesday for domestic violence after he allegedly assaulted his girlfriend with a slice. Well, let's just hope that they don't try to take away pizza from people like they're trying to do with our guns because Pizza can hurt people. And now for our quote of the day. Educate and inform the whole mass of the people. They are the only sure reliance for the preservation of our liberty. That's Thomas Jefferson. Coming up, we have an interview with Scooter Downey. He won third place in the Operation Paul Revere Film Contest for Political Earth. It's a fun, fabulous animated film. 
And we encourage you to go to Infowars.com forward slash Paul and see the rest of our contestants, as well as the second place winner, which Alex announced today on the radio show, American Drone. So go check that out. Supporting indie filmmakers with messages of freedom is so important, so we encourage you to purchase your copy of State of Mind. It's available on DVD and Blu-ray, so we encourage you to get that today. Go to InfoWars store and buy a copy, maybe buy a couple of copies for your friends and encourage them to learn more about what's going on. Stick around after the interview. We're going to have a news blitz on the InfoWars Nightly News. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones radio show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Authoritarian control freaks throughout history have sought to make populations dependent. The United Nations openly has talked about using food as a weapon against the third world and the industrialized first world. State Department Memorandum 200, developed by Henry Kissinger, called for destroying the food capacity, not just of the United States, but every country in the world, so they could use food scarcity as a political weapon of control. Just a decade ago, less than 10 million Americans were on food stamps. Four years ago, it was 25 million. It's now reached almost 50 million. Socialist health care is designed to destroy our health care system. The establishment wants you to be a bunch of cowardly, dumbed-down people who can't stand up for yourselves. That's why they're rushing to try to restrict citizens owning firearms. Because since the early 1990s, gun ownership has gone straight up while violent crime has gone straight down by 49%. And globalist-controlled strongholds like Chicago and New York, where they've taken the citizens' guns, have the highest crime rates in the world. What am I getting at here? The system doesn't want you to be self-sufficient. That's why I promote the fact that you should go out, buy firearms, and go take lessons and learn how to use them. I want you to stand up for your birthright of liberty and freedom. During a serious meltdown, they're going to tell you, hey, you want food? Turn in your guns. And that's why we need to put the globalists in check. And then finally bring them to checkmate by being self-sufficient, by being prepared, by having a garden, by learning how to can your own foods, by having friends and family and community that will stand together. But at the heart of that is having quality, storable foods. And that's why I went out more than a decade ago and found the very best food company to be my sponsor, eFoods Direct. They're the company that I personally use for my emergency food storage preparation, whether it be for natural disasters or the tyranny that is intensifying. So give them a call, 800-409-5633. That's 800-409-5633. Or efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex to find the weekly and monthly specials. And there's a lot of other reasons. Privacy, you name it. When you want high-quality, storable foods, you go to the experts. And that's efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex to find the full list of specials. The two-week food supply provides one adult with 81 servings of healthy, delicious, storable food for 14 days. The one-month food supply provides 192 servings for 28 days. And then there's the one-month family food pack. It will change the way you look at the food in your pantry. Every time you eat one of these meals, you are eating healthy, delicious food and saving a lot of money. The three-month food supply. 576 servings of storable food for 91 days. And the one-year food supply will provide you with 2,304 servings of healthy, delicious, storable food for one full year. Your meals are as delicious and nutritious tonight as they'll be in 25 years. Bottom line, there's a bunch of specials at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. You can also call them at the toll-free number on your screen, and they can send you a catalog with all the specials detailed and tell you about the weekly and monthly specials that they're always running. 
eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex to find all the specials or call the toll free number. And so, in closing, when you buy from eFoodsDirect.com, you are supporting the radio broadcast, the nightly news, the magazine, the films, and everything we're doing. Because we're not like MSNBC or Media Matters that get government and corporate funding to bring down America and bring in tyranny. We are funded by our sponsors and you, the viewers and listeners, that support them. Again, that's eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex or 800-409-5633 and when you're also visiting InfoWars.com or PrisonPlanet.com you can click on the banners to take you to the weekly and monthly specials. It's like the Hank Williams Jr. song A Country Boy Can Survive because you can't starve us out and you can't make us run because these boys were raised on shotguns. Well there aren't really a lot of good old boys left anymore are there? And those that are out there are demonized and are enemy number one by Homeland Security. And good old boys come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. They're people that aren't chumps who understand that they're going to take care of their family and that nobody else is. They're people that understand that if somebody else is taking care of them, that makes them a slave. And that the government doesn't want you dependent because they want to build a great future for you. They want to get you dependent so they can social engineer us. So the answer is get self-sufficient, become men again, and tell the New World Order to go straight to hell. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and eFoods Direct, our great sponsor. Hello! I'm the voice of reason! Political animal expert! Adrenaline junkie! And abstract concept! In this series, we will travel across many imperial environments. Oh, yes! Discovering just how diverse and how destructive today's political animals really are. We will dive down into the virtual underground to explore the internet. Where law-abiding citizens are carefully monitored. For despots, these cyber caves remain the least explored places on political Earth. Within their depths, they contain our planet's last surviving schools of free thought. We will travel up into the heights of higher education where the next generation of intellectual giants are saddled with loans and worthless degrees. Up here, left-wing academics swarm together into destructive ideological flocks. Their pupils try to escape without being indoctrinated. Head into the financial wilderness, the den of thieves. Where the fat cats of Wall Street and their predatory loans strip wealth from the bone of the average American. Here, we'll learn that the masses cannot cross the mega banks and the river of toxic assets. Climb the mountain of debt. Sixteen trillion dollars high! These fiscal cliffs are so large, they're clearly visible from space. You just saw a little clip of the movie Political Earth. They're our third place winner in the Operation Paul Revere Film Contest, and we have Scooter here today. Hello, Scooter. Thank you for being here, and congratulations. Thank you, guys. It's an amazing experience, and um, yeah, thank you guys just also for putting on the contest. You know, like, um, 
this, uh, I, you know, I made my feature film last year and I did the film festival circuit and I got to say like, this is one of the best film festivals I've ever been a part of. So thank you guys and, and Infowars.com. And I want to encourage our viewers to check out our site, go to Infowars.com slash Paul Revere and check out the rest of our con contestants. But right now we're going to spend time with Scooter. Scooter, you were the director. Did you also write this piece? Yes, I wrote it as well. Yeah. And where did this all come from? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I guess it just, um, you know, I love to watch nature documentaries. I love, like, Planet Earth. I love, uh, you know, survival documentaries like Man vs. Wild. And, you know, when you watch those, you, you, um, you know, you see, like, the brutality of nature. And uh, you learn a lot about human beings by watching those shows. So it originally just came from that idea of wanting to do you know, a spoof of, of one of those nature documentaries while also promoting liberty at the same time. Well, so that's where it came from. It definitely had a lot of layers. Did it take a long time for you to actually write the piece? Yeah, it was kind of difficult because you're kind of trying to do three things at one time. You want to, you know, spoof those. You also have to get your allegory in. You know, you have to think of all the different political animals, um, you know, from the federal leviathan and the Bubis Americanus and the fat cats of Wall Street. So it was. It took a while to to get it, but once it was down, we just went with it because we didn't have any time. And how hard was it to create the animation? Uh, we hired uh, a, a group for that. Uh, they're they're CJC Entertainment, and uh, it was kind of crazy because we had spent. You know, I I, I made this in uh, Holly Weird, and so it was hard with all the. Uh, limousine liberals to find an animator who would do a piece with this kind of political content but about one month before the deadline we found these guys and they were great and they worked really hard we were working around the clock for one month uh you know and we were down to the 11th hour before you know we turned it in so it was it was definitely a fun experience and is there anybody on your team that you'd like to give a shout out to uh, yeah, the the Ephraim Brothers, CJC Entertainment, uh, are are musicians, um, and uh, also my best friend and business partner, Sean Elliott. Uh, we've been friends since kindergarten, and he he's my uh, producer on the project. And what made you choose animation? Um, well, I feel like you know, with with humor, it's uh, it, it lends itself to that. And I, I've, I'm a big fan of uh, Terry Gilliam and, and Monty Python and Trey Parker and Matt Stone. So I wanted to do something in that kind of crude animation style, and it just kind of it kind of lent itself. Plus, we had you know the time limit, so that was that was a major consideration. With only one month left, you know, it would have been very difficult to do a live action. Although some of the some of the entries managed to pull it off, so. Hats off to them. What's your favorite part about it? Is there one particular scene in your project that you favor? Um, I really like seeing the federal leviathan, the giant tentacled creature coming out of the water. <laughs> um, and uh, that, was, that was a direct spoof from a part in um, the David Attenborough documentary where a whale comes out of the water and he like is crying and he's really emotional um, seeing it. So I wanted to spoof that. and you know, make fun of the government at the same time. That's always fun. And did you try to compress it? Was it a lot longer? Uh, there was an extra two minutes that we ended up cutting out um, just, you know, to make it more streamlined. Um, but we got, we got lots more, you know, material to make with it. And tell, us, tell our viewers a little bit more about how they can find you. Um, well, you know, our video is obviously on Alex Jones's channel right now, and then we're also, we've got a YouTube channel, Brobarian Brothers, so you can just search Brobarian Brothers Political Earth, and hopefully you can find it and subscribe to our channel. And of we're course, you more thank you, thank you, and congratulations. You had a lot of competition, so it's really an honor to be in that third place. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I also want to thank the other contestants. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of the entries, and they're really amazing and you know from my my point of view as a you know semi slash professional filmmaker is you know the future of film is going to be those guys from Iowa where I'm from in Kentucky you know people that just you know are working and, and film is a passion um, so I think you know we need to inculcate a kind of community of artists and filmmakers um, to spread the brush fires in the minds of men uh, as Thomas Jefferson said. Amen. Amen to that.
And of course, I want to encourage everybody to go to infowars.com slash Paul and check out all the incredible entries that we had there. And it really, it was hard, hard choice to, to get into that final group of people. Wow, it was uh, being here and looking at them and seeing just so many great projects. It's, uh, it's quite awesome. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> envy you your task, but I'm sure that was, that was fun as well as difficult. Scooter, what's in your future? Uh, well, we'll see, you know, but I definitely want to make a lot more uh, webisodes for Political Earth. Um, hopefully, you know, end up making a feature film with that. Um, but, you know, I, you know, this contest really inspired me to want to make more uh, films that are political, you know, nature. And I listen to Alex every day. So I'm, it's just in my brain. Um, so I want to make, you know, docs, features, um, some more web series and just viral videos, you know, to get the, get the message out. I have an idea for one web series, which would be kind of a spoof of reality shows about cops, like Cops and oh, yeah. <laughs> Dog the Bounty Hunter, but it would be about the PC police, you know, cracking down on people who criticize the government. Um, and I also have a feature film idea that I'm hoping to make, an animation as well, about uh, an action movie about Arnold Schwarzenegger taking down the NWO. So. We'll see Sweet. how that, that turns out. <laughs> and I'm actually uh, planning on moving down to Austin soon, so hopefully, okay. you know, be able to do some stuff for you guys as well. That sounds great. Well, thanks again. Thank you, guys. And congrats. And you can see more of Political Earth at Infowars.com forward slash Paul. And you can also see the rest of the contestants there and their films. And our second place winner, American Drone, is also there. And stay tuned tomorrow. And Alex announced the first place winner, $100,000. That'll be tomorrow on Alex's show. Now more news. Bradley Manning. He's found not guilty of aiding the enemy, but guilty on other charges. WikiLeaks says that it sets a dangerous precedent and is an example of national security extremism. It can never be that conveying true information to the public is espionage. And they also say that there's no accusation in this entire case that any person has come to harm. He's facing 130 year, 136 years in prison. Bradley Manning could face up to 136 years in prison after being convicted of the other charges. Sentencing is scheduled to start on Wednesday. All of this with a single judge and no jury. Remember to sign up for PrisonPlanet.tv. You can give your username and password to up to 10 people. Do that today and spread the knowledge. That's it for tonight's nightly news. I'm Gigi Giorinetta. Be sure to join us tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central. Don't miss it. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show.